Hi everybody, welcome back to Tips for You. Today I want to talk to you about nail growth and how you can speed it up and make your nails grow faster. I want to share my nails with you today because they are really long. I've been growing them for about probably a little over two months um, and I'll just usually just keep growing my nails until such time as they start to break. Now I had, um, let me put my glasses on so I can see if I'm close enough. I had uh, 10 perfect fingers, believe it or not. Let me just go against my black shirt so I can show you how long they are. Um, see my pinky and my ring finger, those are really long. My middle finger I broke maybe about mm, a little while ago, but not too far off, and I just trimmed it up. And yesterday I broke my both hands, my pointer and my thumb. And here, here we have this hand. See how long? Now, this one is the longest, my ring finger, um, on this hand. I measured it for you. <laughs> it's 5 eighths of an inch long, and uh, that's 1.6 centimeters for those of you on the metric system. Um, at this point, I can say they really do need to be trimmed because um, it starts to kind of bother my fingertips, the meaty part, when I go to grab things because the nail hits almost everything. So they're going to be trimmed, but I wanted to share their nice length with you before I trim them because now that I've gotten, you know, two shorter or actually three, um, I will trim them all down now to be even and then we'll just keep going. And if you'll notice, um, they're very smooth. Uh, there's no marks, ridges. I take very good care of them and I will share with you the tips that I do that will help you grow longer nails as well. First tip, by doing light tapping with your nails, you actually stimulate blood flow to your cuticles and it helps to grow your nails longer, faster. So typing is great. So either tapping your fingertips if your nails are not long enough or tapping the nails once they grow longer because for me, I do a lot of typing. Obviously, I'm on you know the computer a lot with YouTube and answering all of my viewers as well as I, I have a business. So um, I'm doing a lot of work on the computer. So my fingers are v many hours throughout the day tapping the keys and that's always stimulating my fingertips. So I have very good blood flow to my fingertips because of that and that will help me grow my nails faster. Now, if you're not somebody who does a lot of typing all the time, several minutes a day is all you would need. You don't need to sit there all day doing it, and you don't need to do it on a computer. If you play piano, that's another wonderful way, or just simply, you know, a hard service, a table, and just tap them, tap your nails, not hard, but just like you were just, you know, waiting, and you're just tapping your nails, you know, like that. Um, on a desk or whatever, you know, during the day when you think of it. And that will help stimulate. Using your fingers, using your hands to do things um, really helps stimulate blood flow to your fingertips. And I'm always working. Yesterday I was staining my deck and, um, you know, I had gloves on all day, which um, I think kept moisture, a lot of moisture inside my, inside my gloves along with the powder. Uh, so I think it kind of softened them up and then when I was doing some sanding I just sort of chopped one off which you know I have to do work so it happens but the other thing I wanted to tell you is very important is to constantly keep moisturizing them as much as you can as practical because water is what causes nails to be brittle so when you're doing dishes anytime you're cleaning please wear rubber gloves they're so important and when you can moisturize your hands the most important time for moisturizing is when you go to sleep at night. It's when your hands are healing, your body's healing, it's repairing. You can really get that deep moisture inside your fingers, your hands, your cuticles. Use something thick. Use the uh, raw shea butter that I talk about in my pedicure video. That is wonderful. Or olive oil is great. Or even castor oil is really good. It's very thick. It's an emollient. Really rub it, massage it in. Um, and then 
cover it with a thin coating of Vaseline to lock it in and um, if you see my nighttime hand care video it'll kind of go through what you can do and then you will have beautiful smooth hands in the morning you repair the damage that's caused during the day now we're going into the winter months those of you who do have that and it's a really important time to keep your hands moisturized I can't tell you enough how important that is for um, your nails not to get brittle and for them to be pliable and healthy and to grow the other thing I want to mention to you that's also important for nail growth is your diet. It is so important because as you know, a healthy body promotes healthy nails, healthy skin, healthy hair. And what's very important for nails are the B vitamins. Now, if you saw my Food Bear video, you know that I practice eating a variety of foods through using the Food Bear and the different food groups that are really important because you want to make sure you're getting all of the vitamins that are important to your body. The B vitamins are very important and I get a lot of these vitamins. Um, I eat a lot of whole grains and vegetables and things like that, but let's go over some of the important ones so that you can make a mental note. Some of these vitamins you'll see are rep um, the foods that you can eat are repetitive, so you're getting multiple types of vitamins um, with several of the foods. So nails, uh, being made of uh, protein, really require you to have a healthy diet, including protein in them. So, biotin, very important for nail growth. Biotin can be found in so many foods. Cauliflower is one of the best. Lentils is also fabulous. Green leafy vegetables. Nuts, carrots, and even cucumbers are really important um, foods with biotin in them, which really help promote nail growth. Vitamin A is also very important. Vitamin A can be found in meat, eggs, cheese, milk, carrots, broccoli, pumpkin. It's also known as beta carotene, which you might be very familiar with. Now, Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, which means that it's stored in the liver. Your body stores it. So I don't really recommend that you take supplements for vitamin A. Because unlike vitamins, the B vitamins, which are water-soluble soluble vitamins, your body will excrete excess vitamin Bs, but not vitamin A. So with the vitamin A, you're better off getting it through your diet, through the foods that I just mentioned, um, because you'll get safe amounts that your body needs. You don't want to take more than you need of the vitamin A's. Your body also needs phosphorus. This is a vitamin that can be found in meat, chicken, fish, turkey, eggs, uh, nuts, carrots, many of the other foods that I just mentioned. So if you've got your meats in your diet, nuts, fresh vegetables, beans, uh, green leafy vegetables as well as the yellow, um, fruits, you know, citrus fruits, berries, nuts, um, these foods are all wonderful for your nails. They will help your nails grow. Whole grains are very important. They carry a lot of the B vitamins. These are all some foods that I eat constantly. So, and you, the proof is in my nails. I grow nails very fast and very healthy. They are strong. They don't break easily. And as I told you, I don't wear polish very often. I find that polish does make my nails brittle. So, healthy diet, tapping your nails, and protecting them from moisture uh, with rubber gloves, as well as moisturizing them at night, your nails, your cuticles, and your hands will help you grow your nails faster and stronger. Now give it some time. Um, many people think overnight they're going to change their diet and all of a sudden, boom, their nails are going to be beautiful. It takes time for your body to respond, for the vitamins to take work. So start eating your healthy diet, follow the food bear, and you can have beautiful, healthy nails. I have a nail polish to share with you. I found a great polish. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween that I really liked and um, I want to share it with you. I'm going to do my nails first. I'm going to clip them all down to uh, probably I'm going to go down to the size of my uh, pointer and my middle finger with my two really long ones that are left and on um, both hands and then I'm going to polish them and the color that I have here is called Black with Envy. See that? Isn't that a great color? Um, hopefully the camera can pick it up, but it's a black frost that almost has a charcoal color to it. It's really unique, very pretty. Um, it's like a silvery black almost, I want to say. 
Um, so I bought it in the spirit of Halloween. I'm going to apply a coat on the longest nail, my 5 eighths of an inch nail, and show you what it looks like. And I hope you'll get it too. I'm going to put another coat on that because it needs another coat. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like with two coats. So it'll be a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, while it's drying, I just want to make one other point. If you feel that your diet is lacking um, these types of foods that I talked about, sometimes people are vegetarians or vegans and they, they don't get enough of certain vitamins, a multivitamin is a great way to go. Um, I really don't recommend supplementing with certain vitamins. I always feel like you're getting too much if you're having a healthy diet. That's really what you should focus on because you need a healthy diet just for everyday life, for exercising, for staying healthy, for staying fit, to keep your metabolism going because you don't want to slow down your metabolism by crash dieting and things like that. So really an important diet is the way to go. But if you want to add a multivitamin, that's a great way too. That way you're getting a combination of all the vitamins that you need in one pill you're not going to get too much of one thing or another and I, I love the nature made brand um, they're great and they're a nice supplement um, I find it to be you know a moderate supplement and you can find it in any drugstore supermarket they all carry nature made um, okay I think it's dry oh it's so pretty um, can you see that there's a lot of light in my room here, so it's hard to see. Now, this is not just for Halloween. This is a great winter shade. Um, like I said, it's kind of a silvery black, really attractive, um, really looks pretty. Uh, you can wear this out. You can wear this to work. You can wear this to school. I'm hoping you get the effect. If I go closer, I don't know if it's going to get uh, blurry, but I'm getting as close as I can. See that? It's so pretty. Revlon. I'll tell you the name of it again. It's called Black with Envy and hope you really like it. And I hope you found this nail video helpful and that you'll remember some of these tips if you want to grow your nails long. And once you have a healthy diet, you'll see your whole body will benefit from it. Not just your nails, but just the way you feel, the way you look, what you can accomplish in a day. You'll just feel more energized and healthier. So check out my Food Bear video, which is called My Food and Diet fit for life plan which I just recently uploaded um, and say goodbye to my really long 5 eighths of an inch nail because it's going to be cut down but it'll be growing again I'm not cutting it all the way down thanks so much for viewing and please subscribe because I have so much more to come uh, something for everyone and please visit me at my blog spot where I do a lot of writing on many different subjects something for everyone there too and I will see you soon okay bye bye now oh and happy Halloween